It is Sunday the 16th of July and I have just managed to upload a video and I've finished putting together a load of footage of the zoo. So it was my birthday last week and I went to the zoo with John. Basically every time I have a birthday it's the only time that John ever goes to the zoo because I really really like animals. I know it's a really contentious issue, that's maybe not the right, right word, controversial? I don't know, a lot of people really don't like zoos because they hate the idea that the animals are all like caged up and not able to go and experience their environment in the way that they were designed to do. I've worked in conservation uh, through tourism and I've also watched a heck of a lot of documentaries about animals and I am fully in favour of institutions that try to prevent certain species going extinct. There are a lot of zoos that are not particularly ethical and obviously that's awful. There are also a lot that do a lot of good for the conservation of species so that's why I support zoos. I do normally try to find out if a zoo is ethical or not before I go to it. So Bristol Zoo! We went there on Tuesday which was my actual birthday and John was very nice and had this whole day out planned for me. Unfortunately he ordered the wrong weather <laughs> so it was raining. It was a really nice day out anyway. We didn't spend as much time outside in the sort of garden part of the zoo as we probably would have done. We went into all the internal exhibits because there was a lot of rain and as a result a lot of the video that I took has got screaming children in the background because there were school trips at the zoo so I've had to cut a lot of footage out and I've also had to sort of try put some music in over some of it because there's children screaming. To be honest I took over an hour's worth of footage so I've had to cut it down to 13 minutes which I still think is pretty good. Anyway I really hope you enjoyed it. It's not a normal thing at all. I'm not narrating anything I'm just showing you the animals. I particularly enjoyed a number of things that didn't make it onto camera because they were just boring when I actually filmed them. So there was mountain chicken frogs which are incredibly endangered. I really liked watching them. They were on a documentary that I'd recently watched so it was quite cool to see them in real life. The seals we absolutely both adored. I took loads of footage of them so you'll enjoy that. What else? Penguins. I am completely obsessed with penguins. We spent a really long time there. That was, to be honest, John was like what time do you want to go to the zoo? And I was like I don't care. The penguin feeding is at three o'clock so we're making that. <laughs> We did. While we were there, there was a drill. So we were in the gorilla enclosure, which is why after this bit you see no more footage. And this guy came in and was like, um, there's an escaped lion drill going on and I have to keep you in here. But we didn't really hear what he said, so we thought he was telling us to leave and he was going to escort us somewhere. I don't know why that would make sense when there was an escaped lion. So we walked out of the gorilla house and he then locked the door behind us, so we were like, okay and then carried on walking towards another part of the zoo that we wanted to go to and then as we walked past the meerkat enclosure this guy came out and he was like Psst, come in here there's an escaped there's an escaped lion <laughs> but they also kept on going this is a drill so we were like is this actually a drill or is this there's actually an escaped lion and you're telling us it's a drill so that there's no panic and on the on the radio they kept on doing things like you'd hear somebody come over the radio and go the escaped lion has been anaesthetised and we're taking it back to its enclosure now except it hasn't because there's not really an escaped lion <laughs> it was very it was interesting I was a bit annoyed I was like ah it's my birthday why is this happening oh, spoiled entitled brat that I am um, but it was yeah it was actually quite it was quite cool to be part of it the visit got cut a little bit short not because they made us leave but just because we then ran out of time so we didn't see everything that we wanted to see we will be going back Anyway, I hope you enjoy this and thank you all so much for watching. I know that this new style of vlogging has been not particularly popular with some quarters, but I, I've been getting text messages and messages from friends and family saying please carry on. So thank you all, I really hope you are enjoying them and <laughs> sorry they're not more frequent. Very exciting news, I got a camera for my birthday so people all gave me money and then I have also been saving up for a camera so it should arrive in the next couple of weeks and I'm really 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 excited because as much as my phone does a really good job I want like a dedicated thing because what I'm finding with my phone is that I'm trying to find stuff in like my camera roll and there's just reams of selfie videos which is just ah it's so annoying anyway I am actually going to go now I hope you enjoy this let me know what you particularly enjoyed in the comments down below and I will see you next time Bye. I forgot to say the footage at the beginning was mini golf the night before my birthday which John took me to and I included it because I won. I never win mini golf, I'm particularly bad at it so enjoy these couple of clips. <laughs> 
Closer. <laughs> How does a lion mark its territory? To do two X. Boom. What noise does a Kia make? Huh? Dunno. Guess. <laughs> that's not a that's a car. <laughs> See me rolling. Oh, look, I'm taking an extreme close up of a turtle. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. He just had a little tussle with the candle. my hand would stop wobbling. So I think it's back from on. I love how their tails, they're basically tonks. <laughs> Yeah. 
Are those eggs? He wants to be the star of the show. I reckon his name is Gus. Gus, I think it's more of a Fred. That one is so cute. I'm gonna call him Brady. It suddenly makes it a lot weirder that he came here with a long lens camera and just watched them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, day. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Polly. I'm just going to spend a few minutes telling you a little bit more about our lovely penguins in this enclosure. While our penguin keeper Laura will be giving these guys their fish down there on the beach. You're gonna sing. Sing for your supper. His teeth are black. Oh. She like tonks. <laughs> So it gives them something to think about and something to do, so they don't get too bored. Oh, but also, especially with the health check behaviours, it allows us to keep an eye on our boys. Look, John, look at what he's doing. He's like... What on earth is he doing? <laughs> Go! 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 Go!
Yeah, he does like to steal them from Pan because oh he's bigger. He, thinks, yeah, he can boss him around a bit. Yeah. yeah. He's a bit naughty as well because he's supposed to be way up on the top of the rock there. But you'll see him slowly shifting down. Boys, huh? I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.